round them a fierce, wide, crazy noon heaves with crushed lips and glowing sides against the huge and drowsy sun beneath them turn the glittering tides where dizzy waters reel with gold, and strange, rich trophies sink and rise from decks of sunken argosies with shining arms they cleave the cold far reaches of the sea and beat the hissing foam with flash of feet into bright fangs, while breathlessly curls over them the amorous sea naked they laugh and revel there. One shakes the sea drops from his hair, then, singing, takes the bubbles, one lies couched among the shells, the sands telling gold hours between his hands one floats like sea rack in the sun the gods of youth, the lords of love, Greeks of eternal Thessaly, mocking the powers they know not of, naked and unembraced and free to whom the siren sings in vain today. Tomorrow who shall be the destined sport of gods and men unseen, the immortal ones are here, remembering their mortal loves the strange, sweet flesh, the lips that were frail and most perishably fair. Diana leaves her whispering groves, and of Actaeon dreams and sighs, and hears the hounds bay in the wood. Oh, Kythera, the trembling blood upon one petal's paling mouth before thee in this noon must rise while thou remember Adon's eyes one mournful and complaining shade beyond Avenus shakes his head. Dreaming of one beloved youth born from him, lost and dazed and dead, dragged by the nymphs avenging hair into the seabed oozing dim, in that cold twilight unaware of each great sunrise over him. Dot. One day, while still these waters run, and noon still heaves beneath this sun, you shall creep, unremembering, whom life has humbled and subdued, ruined your bodies, tamed your blood, no more the lords of anything but spent and racked with mortal pains the slow tide pushing through your veins, coldly you face this magic shore, for you that's enchanted noon scarce haunted is with ghosts that were once, and were you, and are no more faltering against the wind and sun that vainly seek your hair for gold, stubborn with habit, grey and old, you know not why you wander here, nor what vague dream pursues you still, for life has taken fullest toll of all your beauty, on each soul love's hand has left his bitter mark, has had of you his utmost will, and thrusts you headlong to the dark, and colder than these waters are the stream that takes your limbs at last earth's vales and hills drift slowly past, one shore far off, and one more far,